EasyWare Plus Quick Start Guide, Part 3, Creating Windows. The next step of the Quick Start project introduces the user to the configuration structure in EasyWare Plus. Stacking multiple windows into a single operator accessible screen can simplify the design process. For example, create a single window with the company logo and colors made into an appealing border, then set that as the background for all other windows. This saves the time of adding the logo to each page directly. By the end of this video, the project will include three new windows and function keys to navigate between the operator accessible windows. EasyWare Plus uses the term window to refer to the screens that can be displayed or programmed in the HMI. By default, EasyWare Plus uses Window 10 as the startup window that is displayed whenever the HMI powers up or reboots. When a project is created with the template file, it starts with the default Window 10 and a number of windows for specialty functions such as keyboards and error messages. The Quick Start project will use five windows. One is a keypad that is included in the template. It will be used but not modified. The default Window 10 has already been created and will be modified in the project. Finally, three new windows will be created. One will be the detail page for the user to navigate to for more information and system control. The final two windows will have background images for the two operator accessible windows. When creating new windows and navigating through your project, it is easiest to have the window tree set to the object list. To create a new window through the window tree, right-click on the screen number that you would like to use. Select New. For this project, all settings will be left at their defaults. Click OK. To open a window from the window tree, double-click it. The new window is opened in your main area, and you can toggle between open windows in the tabs up above. We're going to create windows 11, 12, and 13 for this project. Windows that are open in the main window will show an asterisk next to their number. To delete a window, ensure that the window is closed, right-click on it, and select Delete. An alternative way to create new windows and navigate between them is the Open Window dialog box, accessed from the Window menu. The Open Window dialog box displays all existing windows in the current project. To create a new one, select New. Select Base Window. In this method, the next available window number is automatically assigned. To open a window from the Open Window dialog box, either click Open or double-click. Now that the project includes multiple windows, the operator needs a way to navigate between them. Function key objects will be added to the windows to switch between them. In EasyWare Plus, objects are the elements placed on the windows or created in the project to complete a task. Objects can be static, such as background images and fixed text, or dynamic, such as lights that change color to indicate the state of a bit. Some static objects, like basic shapes, can be drawn directly on the window, but most will use a visual element chosen from the libraries. The picture libraries store bitmap graphics and accept a range of file format, including GIF, JPEG, and PNG. EasyWare Plus comes preloaded with numerous shapes and picture libraries, as well as the tools to easily import new elements and create new libraries. To place a function key, open the Objects, Button, Function Key menu. We're going to comment this function key with the title of Brew. This button is going to change the screen to Window 11. To customize the shape of the button, click the Shape tab. You have the option of using either the Picture Library or a Shape Library object. We're going to use the Picture Library object. This area shows you a preview of what your object looks like, with the option of looking at different states. We want our navigation button to look a little different than this, so we're going to open up the picture library. System libraries are included in every project by default. EasyWare Plus comes with more graphics libraries than are automatically included in the default project. To browse the libraries, select the Browse Libraries button.
This allows you to browse through all graphics libraries available on your computer. The new library also allows you to browse libraries on your computer and add them to the project. Browse to where you place the Quick Start Library. The Quick Start Library has now been added to the project and can be browsed to through the drop-down menu. Select Image 3 through your button. In order to add text to the navigation button, select the Label tab. Check the Use Label checkbox. We will use the Arial Bold font. And let's make it a little more visible at font 24. You can change the color and type in your text in the content window. Click OK. Place the button in the bottom right corner. Now that we have an object on the screen, the window tree can be expanded to show the objects on each window. Double clicking on an object will bring up its properties. The comment typed here appears as a label in the window tree object list. We will now copy the function key from window 10 to window 11. Copy, 10 to 11, paste. Double click on the function key to open its properties. And we will change the comment to home and the label to home. Click OK. Alternative ways to open the object properties, select, right click, attribute, or select, edit, change object attributes. This concludes part three of the EasyWare Guide Quick Start series. You should now have an understanding of how EasyWare structures a project and how an operator can access the different windows that make up the project. You have also seen how to associate a library element to an object on the screen to quickly give it the visual effect integral to the modern user interface. Part four will continue by guiding you through creating the additional programming elements necessary to complete the Quick Start project.